is set for event number four, who will reign supreme on the rings. For the contenders on the platform from Germany, Miriam Loesch. But can she withstand the Australian Fury? The furious foe fired up after losing out on the wall to Peggy. Looking at the stats, our shapely Aussie shell lookalike stands 5'7 and weighs in at just over nine stones. Compare that to Miriam, our fabulous Frau, and delightful Delera, and you'll see she's an inch taller, but two pounds lighter. And oh my goodness, Miriam's gone! The German contender slips. What a tragic mistake so early in this event. The German contingent are stunned by that. And Fury claiming the credit for some reason. Mike's there. Miriam, I know this is the last place you want to be right now, being interviewed. But what happened up there? I slipped off of the rings. And I, I don't know why it happened. The important thing is there are two more events to go. Keep your chin up and keep fighting, all right? Miriam Loesch from Germany. Fury, not much of a battle, but then again, it, it is very difficult for contenders to go against gladiators who have experience in this event. Yes, it is. That's very true. Um, I didn't think I was that scary. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, it is a difficult game. Um, and if you haven't been up there before, I, I well imagine that it was pretty scary for her. That's the break. Well, you'll get another chance. Nice work up there, even though you didn't break a sweat. Thank you very much. The lovely Fury. Well, a great shame for Miriam, who could have done with the points from that event. Next up for the contenders from the USA, Peggy Odita. And she squares off against Jet. Jet, a firm favorite from the UK. Looking at her facts and figure, the flag-flying Jet stands two inches shorter than Peggy and nearly two stones lighter. Let's see if Jet's got the power. Over to international referee, John Anderson. Contender, ready! Anita, ready! Three, two, one! Jet clearly aware that she's got a work cut out against Peggy. Oh, and Peggy in the scoring zone already! And Jet working out her strategy. Jet traversing. She's gonna trap Peggy on the swing. Here she comes. Oh, I've got you. No! Peggy slipped the scissors. Peggy regrouping. Now she's flying in the face of Jet. And Jet's one ringed. Peggy going for the platform. Can't control it. Jet marking her well. Oh, she's gone! Peggy lets the ring and the point slip through her fingers, and she is furious with herself. What a letdown for Peggy. Her supporters are miserable, although some are hiding their misery well. In the replay, Peggy gets desperately close to Jet's platform, swings back for another crack, misses a ring, and plunges out of the points. After four events, Peggy remains on 31, Miriam stays on six, it's back to Mike Adamley. The men are set to hang tough. First up for the contenders from Great Britain, Mark Everett. But he's got a tall order as he goes against Germany's Giants. The crowd making the Giant feel at home. This German is so tall, his head's always in the clouds. We even brought along the Gladiator Zeppelin for him. Mark supporters hoping they'll have something to sing about after this. Let's send it over to international referee, Larry Thompson. Great Britain ready! Ready, ready! Three, two, one! The giant swings out. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Well, Mark's hoping for a fairy tale finish to this event in the scoring zone already. Giant traversing superbly well for a big man. Oh, he's got him with those long legs, locks him up, drags him down. Great performance from the big fella. 
looking at it again, the UK contender swings back, but once Giant got those long legs up, the only place for Mark was but down. It was clear that the moment you started the rings that you had some talent. You knew what you were doing there yeah. and doing up there. The only problem is you faced one formidable gladiator. Yeah, I thought 3 2 1 when the whistle went. I thought I could outfox him by changing my direction. Um, I got right across, but. Um, he just got his legs around me and that was it. Were you, were you surprised how quick he was able to close in? Not really, because I went to him. <laughs> you didn't get any points, but you looked great up there, though. The style was terrific. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We have a saying, giant in the United States, that it's not bragging if you can back it up. And yesterday you told me that this was your best event. You were a giant in Hank Top. Yeah, it's really my game. We never did it before, but I did it once and I knew no one will ever beat me in this game. Were you at least concerned about his talent? Because he did look good up there. He was good and uh, good, and he was quick changing. But what can no. you say? You're the giant. Yeah. He's the giant, folks. He's great. He's the giant. Mark Ever, nice storm. Ready to swing for the contenders from Russia, Alexander Moltsev. He'll go against. USA Gladiator Hawk! Sometimes more squawk than Hawk. You may remember from last year, always got something to say for himself, but looking at his stats, not without good reason. He stands six inches taller than Alexander and a mighty 40 pounds heavier. Referee Larry Thompson, send them on their way. Russia, ready! Gladiator, ready! Yeah, baby, you have to add Hawk. Get ready to get it done. Three. Well, Hawk's so busy talking, he's almost forgot his gum shield. A veteran star of American gladiators, of course. Alexander, a bodyguard by profession. Very impressive so far. Hawk finding himself out of position. Alexander's come wide and swung right past him. Hawk traversing to recover. Oh, Alexander barging Hawk out of the way. Swinging back into trouble. Oh, barges him again. And Hawk is one ringed. Oh, taunting the Russian. Alexander's going to have to tough it out now, trying to shake the gladiator off the rings. The American Hawk grinning like a Cheshire cat. Superb step from Alexander, but he's not taking the Hawk's full weight yet. Oh, now he is. He's got him. Hawk the Slayer. Well, in the replay, Hawk knows that once he unleashes his full weight, it'll tip the scales in his favor. After four events, Neither contender advances their score. Alexander still leads at 22. Mark way behind on 15. 